All right, this is just a little rundown about how our connector works, how to pull and push products in our connector. Um, most likely you already have a connection made, so go ahead and click on that. You'll see our dashboard um, with all the products, the orders, and the revenue here. Um, it'll tell you how many top products you have, your top customers, and any tasks that you might have initiated with our connectors, such as pulling products, pushing products, and refreshing orders. That'll all be labeled here. So the first thing that I would do is I would head over to the settings tab um, where you would fill in all of these fields with whole integers. These are just um, default package dimensions that TikTok requires. And then this is your categories tab where you can choose a new category in TikTok shop. And then this is your products tab. So for you, this uh, would be blank for the first time if you are if you haven't pulled in any products from Shopify yet. So I'll go ahead and teach you how to do that. You would go to actions and then pull products. And then I would choose a date using the double arrows to go back a couple years. And then you can choose um, today's date or a future date from today and then go ahead and click confirm. And then what this does is it will pull all of the first products in Shopify um, into the connector. Uh, this would be the first initial pull. So once you pull in products, uh, you won't have to keep pulling in products. So once you make new products in Shopify, they would just automatically populate in our connector. Um, to check on the task, you would just go to our dashboard. Um, as you can see, it says running, but I'll just keep on refreshing. And then you'll see all of the new products pop into the connector. And then once all the products are in, all you would have to do is you can click uh, based on the different checkboxes next to the product, or you can bulk push. That's when you would click on the top checkbox and then click on actions, and then you would push product. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and check on that in the dashboard, and you'll see that it's running. And then you just give it a quick refresh and then it'll say completed. And then you'll get to see that all of them has, have been successfully pushed over. And there, as soon as it says live in TikTok shop, um, that means it's live on TikTok. And you'll be able to check on the sync status. It says product sync has been successful. If for any reason the product push wasn't successful, you'll be able to check this way. And then now any orders that come in for these products in TikTok shop will then be pushed, uh, will then be synced back in our connector and then into Shopify.